Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Royal Sub Games. In this video, I am going to um, uh, review the Tink Vision P27 U10 27 inch wide 4K UHD IPS monitor. But before I start, I will tell you something that many people ask me that uh, why you review these monitors and you don't unbox them. And the reason to this is that I'm not sponsored by any of these. Uh, companies other than all other youtubers where they get the monitor for free and they unbox it and they tell you what the company tells them to say because of this reason i want to be an honest person reviewing the monitor and tell you both the advantages and disadvantages of this monitor and whether it's worth it or not or whether you should consider it because of this reason i don't want to get sponsored by any company and because of this, uh, since I'm reviewing and unboxing many monitors, I can't afford to unbox all of them. That's it. I hope you understand. But let's move on to this. So this monitor, we can see it's 27 inch. The price is, I think, a little bit too much, $619, but it's 4K, 4K UHD. And let's go. Uh, I already see the colors and everything in the store and I think it's they're fine they're okay the colors are okay but uh, uh, since it's 4k uh, it's much better than other uh, Lenovo monitors which are full HD as you can see you can use this monitor sideways with its original stand and this stand you can uh, adjust the height uh, tilt it up and down and you can also that's it tilt it up and down and adjust the height you can tilt it left and right uh, this stand looks fine uh, one thing that this monitor has is great it has a USB hub so you can just connect your uh, USB devices to the monitor instead of connecting it to your uh, case and it also has an audio uh, hub too, which means you can connect your earbud to the mic. Uh, let's uh, look at other things that this monitor has. So, as I said, this monitor is near edgeless monitor, meaning that when you turn on the monitor, you don't see any edges. The, mostly you see the display, but it has a uh, still a little bit uh, very thin edge but very not noticeable and it had a professional grade color of 99% Adobe RGB and it's also pre-calibrated and full function USB type C and all digital ports with ergonomic stand the response rate is an extreme 4 milliseconds and uh, default 6 milliseconds and off 16, 14 milliseconds. I think you should always put it on default and sometimes when you do intense gaming, put it on 4 milliseconds. This is very good that uh, they're giving you a 4 millisecond response rate that is extreme because I was just reviewing a Lenovo monitor, a 44 inch actually which was around $1,200 and the response rate for that one was 4 milliseconds. So it's good that at this price they're giving you this response rate. But I also saw other monitors that still have 4 milliseconds response rate. And it's OS independent. Uh, can, and the panel is IPS, uh, that's good at this price point. Because the, again, that 44 inch monitor that was $1,200, same thing, Think Vision, uh, it was a VA panel. IPS is better than VA, however, uh, still, uh, if they made a TFT active matrix, that would give you better clarity. So, I, the only reason I recommend this monitor to you is if you want to uh, get benefits from the 4K UHD. If you want Full uh, a full HD instead of 4K, uh, you can save couple of hundred bucks and get a monitor around 200 bucks. Same thing, region exactly same. 
uh, that looks like this one, same as that, USB hub, everything, plus it has a webcam and uh, speakers. I think that was one of also, this is the fifth, I think, fifth, uh, let me see, this is, uh, yeah, this is the sixth best selling monitor that Lenovo had, I think that one was this one. So yeah, we can see that this one looks uh, very similar, and plus it has the uh, camera. I have a full review and unbox on this one, however. You can go to my channel and find it and watch it if you want. They're in, they have 21 inch and I also believe that they have 27 inch if you want. Uh, I think this one is way better. The only thing that you don't get with this one is you don't get 4K. If you have any question about any of these, uh, feel free to comment below. I respond as soon as possible. Uh, you can also go to my channel and watch the other videos and other uh, brands too. Definitely you can watch my HP uh, monitor that I'm using myself. I have full unboxing of those HP monitors. And you can also watch my uh, uh, super budget gaming PC that I recently built that you can play any games and any software in 2020 with high performance and high resolution. Definitely worth it. Uh, their price I believe is like under $500. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.